Let me tell you a story. It is I, the real... Don't mock me! Don't laugh at me! It is I, the real Randy Chavez, coming at you with a Pokemon sales data video, but before I was so rudely interrupted, Nintendo was founded in September of 1889 in Kyoto, Japan, by Fusajiro Yamauchi as a hand-painted playing card company. In January of 1990, Satoshi Tajiri first conceives of Pokemon inspired by his childhood hobby of insect collecting. In February of 1996, Pokemon the Trading Card Game is launched. In April of 1997, Pokemon Anime is released. In May of 1998, Trophy Kangaskhan is awarded to the parent-child teams that have a certain amount of victories in a tournament. In January of 1999, WotC, Wizards of the Coast, released their version of the cards in North America. The vice president says, We believe the invasion of the trading card game in North America will be a tremendous success. End quote. In January of 2016, Pokemon celebrates its 20th anniversary with its strongest e retail year to date. In July of 2016, Pokemon Go is released. May of 2019, Detective Pikachu is released, grossing $430 million worldwide. November of 2019, Pokemon is deemed the highest grossing media franchise of all time by Business Insider. August of 2020, Chavez buys a Trophy Kangaskhan for a record price of $80,000. People call him crazy. 27 October 2020, two Trophy Kangaskhan sell for $150,000 and $150.1,000 respectively. December of 2020, offers to buy the Trophy Kangaskhan for $200,000 are declined. If there is something that is rare enough and coveted enough, people will bend over backwards and try to do whatever they can to get it. The next sale of this card is probably going to be a quarter of a million dollars. I won't sell mine for that. That's going to be probably one of the three that's on eBay right now. SM Pratt has his at 500,000. Uh, that's what that's listed for. Someone has theirs at 300,000. And the lowest on there is some guy from the UK at $263,000. They're all our best offer, so potentially you can get that for a bit cheaper. I don't know anyone else that would sell for... Some, some people that don't need to sell. Some people don't want to sell. Some people, they'll sell for the right price. I'm not going to lie. Someone offered me $250,000 for mine. I would... Yeah, I would... Uh, it would be hard... I would say no, but it would be hard to say no because bird in the hand. Now, that being said, let's move on to some other stuff. We have a bunch. I just want, wanted that out there. I thought it was cool. I thought it was interesting. And hooray for me. Now, Gym Challenge. We have Erica's Kindness, first edition PSA 10 for $75. I love this card so much. It is not insanely rare or insanely playable. I don't even know how playable it is. I never used it. But it's, it's raining out. Erica has an umbrella. She's feeding a Growlithe. And she's holding it over Growlithe. It is the coolest. That's the end of the day. However much money I make, however much money I can throw at the issue of homeless animals and, and you know, paying for their food and surgeries and buying wet, it doesn't compare to the people like that that are just will give their time and kindness to, to those animals. That just, it doesn't compare. We need people like that, I think. Well, I think we need both of us. So that card means a lot to me. It sucked when I had to let that card go. And I, again, I could buy it again for $75. And, and I will buy that again at some point. Just what that card represents. Brock's Protection, first edition PSA 10, sold for $48. Resistance Gym, uh, first edition PSA 10, sold for $40 as well. So that is Gym Challenge. Not a lot to go over there. And there's not too many sales. Neo Genesis, uh, Lugia, first edition, Raw. I would have given this, because it was off-center, but not a lot, and on the back, the top edge and the right corner on it uh, was just a little off. I still would have given this a 9. Sold for $3,351. It's a possibility that it would have gotten 8, but I did not see any print lines on it. 
That was one of the cleanest surface hollows, lugias, that I've ever seen. Better than better than mine, all of mine. And I had a six that I sold, I have a seven, and I have two eights now. And that is definitely, <laughs> that is definitely something. Um, now the, uh, if it, there's a chance I could have gotten an eight. Um, but I, I would have seen it as a nine. So whoever got that, even if it does grade an eight, whoever got that got a sweet deal, in my opinion. I think even though you can get eights right now for 2,500, something like that, uh, you know, maybe 3,000, maybe if you're overpaid for it right now, long term, still think that's a great deal. Fantastic deal, especially since PWCC confirmed that that Lugia first edition PSA 10 sold for 126. Blows my mind. But I told you guys, do not sell your Lugias. <laughs> Now, a couple of promos here. We had a Grand Party PSA 10, $2,875. We had a Rowlet Scream promo, PSA 10, sell for $255. We had a Vic uh, 2009 Victory Medal, uh, PSA 9. It was a silver medal, sold for $119. Uh, 2009 Victory Medal, silver Victory Medal, PSA 7, sold for $54. We had a PSA 9 Pikachu McDonald's promo, sell for $164. Uh, and then we had a, trop a 2005 Tropical Tidal Wave promo. It was like a world's promo from 2005. So pretty old. Top 32. It was mint, but it was ungraded. So that sold for 1800 And we had a bunch of Japanese base here. We had a, uh, we had a uh, PSA 9 Ivasaur. Uh, that sold for 156 A PSA 9 Bulbasaur sold for 152 PSA 8 War Turtle sold for... 140 PSA 8 Charmeleon sold for 207 PSA 8 Charmander sold for 113 PSA 8 Squirtle sold for 150 and a PSA 7 Blaine's Arcanine sold for 61 again these are all Japanese uh, okay Gold Star Pikachu PSA 9 sold for 1703 PSA 10 Raikou sold for 1150 PSA 10 Suicune sold for 1525 and a PSA 9 Jolteon sold for 756 those are all Gold Stars uh, Jungle we only had two we had a uh, Jolteon P first edition PSA 10, so for 2600, and a Flareon first edition PSA 10, so for 2700. Uh, legendary collection, <laughs> just have one. So we have a Hypno Reverse Hollow PSA 10, so for $310. This kid that I know, this guy, this epic time, like, remember in uh, that episode where Vegeta is like, like, he had just beaten the shit out of Goku? And Goku's like laying there, like ah, and he's like talking to Gohan, be like ah, Gohan, and then Vegeta go boom, knees him right in like the stomach. He's like, oh, fighting is like being a photographer. Sometimes you have to get the timing just right. This kid gets the timing just right, and I get it. That was a long road to walk down to get to that point, but he's the one that got the BGS nine um, nine point five Pikachu first edition. And he got that BGS 9.5 Charizard, a Blaine's Charizard, first edition. He's the he's and he's the one that got a Dark Charizard first edition PSA 10, four thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. That's less than half of the price that it sold for P last PWCC auction. That is bananas. He keeps finding these deals. Now, granted, this one was only one picture, but the guy had positive feedback. So, even if it's a soft ten, that's. That's like 60% off of what it sold for at its highs. That is bananas. So I am just absolutely floored by that. Um, he just, he finds these cards. And I, I don't know how he does it. Maybe he's got like a good luck charm. A um, couple of card-ass cards. A couple of people have been asking me about this. Uh, so I tried to research as best I could. Uh, PSA 10 Weedle sold for $200. These are very hard to grade, these card-ass cards. There's a bunch of PSA 8 cards that all sold for $75. I stupidly... Could not name them all. It's like Venom Off and that. A bunch of PSA 8 sold for 75 And then a PSA 10 Ivysaur sold for 500 Now, again, these card-ass cards are very hard to grade. I think they are... They're not that popular because people don't know about them. It's like my friend Ryan, who is... Like, he should be... He should have been nominated in high school for, like, funniest kid, funniest person. But, like, nobody knew he was funny. Like, these cards are great. They're old. They're vintage. They're hard to grade. They're rare. And just... They're, they're just underrated, in my opinion. But again, n nobody knows about them, unless you're like really in the hobby. Uh, Fossil. Uh, PSA 8 pre-release Aerodactyl, sold for $150. Um, I don't know why the Rowlet Scream is in there. I already went over that. Right? Did I go over the Rowlet Scream? Rowlet Scream? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, 
and another Aerodactyl, but it was an unlimited Aerodactyl. PSA 10, sold for 400. Now there's a couple of base sets here. They're all first edition, they're all PSA 10. Santru, 475. Pidgey, 430. Magnemite, 480. Drowsy, 405. I feel like I'm gonna rap you. Uh, Ponyta, 560. Vulpix, 495. Ghastly, 468. Charmander, 3300. And Squirtle, 3150. Boom shakalaka. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my story. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. I'm just going to be a guys and self-plug my Patreon. Look at all these fine people that have already to the real Randy Chavez, the great Randy Chavez's Patreon. All right, I love you guys. All right, bye.